All right, so we were looking at at a band similar to this. Um, I probably won't take it all the way to setting the stones and whatnot, but I just wanted to to show how I would make this this sort of shape, and um, and, and I'll I don't know I'll shoot I'll shoot to to show you the concept, but I don't know if I'll get uh, get this spot on or not. So we'll we'll look. Um, and I will say this, I'm going to do this without using T-splines. Um, I actually think that some of the subtleties in this ring would benefit from T-splines. Um, just, you know, this has a very, I guess, almost like a like a hand-formed look. There's, there's a, I don't know, there's just some subtleties about it that I think T-splines would help with. Um, However, I'm going to do this just with regular surfacing tools and and see what we come up with. So, here we go. All right, so I started out with a finger rail here, and what I did was I just offset that finger rail by, uh, I think this one's offset by about 1.2 millimeters, and that's just somewhere around the half distance of, uh, of what I thought the, th the total thickness of the ring would be. Um, you know, it might be a little a little thinner than that, but we'll we'll go with that. So I'm assuming this is a little over two millimeters thick. So uh, so there that is. Okay, so in my curves menu, I can grab the uh, the helix tool, and if I right click, you can see my right click option is helix around curve, and I'll select my offset curve here, and I get this craziness. Um, however, when I bring it down here, you can start to see we are drawing a helix around that curve now. Uh, at this point, I want to kind of look at how many turns I need, and I would say that each one of these bands probably rotates, I don't know, four or five times around um, around that ring, so we'll go, I'll, I'll change this to four and see how that looks, and I'll change the diameter um, to 0.8, uh, somewhere in there, uh, that might, may or may not be what we want, but there that is. Okay, so now I can select this curve, and obviously we have two bands that we need to kind of intertwine here. Um, so we did one band, and I'll try to get the other band here. And after I do this, we may increase the number of turns, but I want to see kind of how this looks. So I'll, uh, I'll rotate with the copy option, so I'll right-click my rotate command, and F4, and then... Um, and then I want to rotate this from uh, to where this, I guess, like a, a qua, uh, I'm sorry, a midpoint would be here at the the apex of this this arc. I want to rotate that half halfway. So not a quarter turn, but I want this to be one eighth of a turn, so it ends up facing straight up, so that these kind of alternate direction, uh, if that makes any sense. So I'm just going to type 360 divided by um, divided by 8, and that should give me one half turn. So there that is. Okay. And if I look at these curves now, like I said, this may or may not be enough, but we will... I think we're going to go with this and just kind of see how it looks. We may need to do five turns. So, I'll select these. Let me switch layers here, and I'm just going to run pipe, and um, we'll just do a radius of one. That's That's fine. Um, actually, we'll do a uh, yeah, we'll do a radius of one. That's fine. And then I'll do the same thing to this ring here. So there that is. So I don't know. That might be that might be kind of close um, to what we need. And then we'll see if our offset is is correct. I'll just do cut to rail these two objects. And there that is. So you can see our offset could have been maybe a little more there, but um, we could actually we could probably scale this whole ring in and then chop it again to get more of the look of the original band. I'm not sure how it looked from the side, but let's see here. Let's just see how that looks. We'll do cut to rail. I know this is a little bit of cheating, but it might get us there. So there that is. So that's a little more probably what we want. And then you would just go 
extract some ISO curves and lay out your stones and really once you get one, two sections done you could probably array that um, and take it from there. So, so hopefully that, that was of some use. Um, again with T-splines you could push and pull some of this and maybe get some pinching a little closer to what you want but I think that that might do it. So just real quick to review what we did was uh, I have this offset curve here I do helix around curve and I can just select my number of turns in this case we went with four and my my radius is 0.8 um, alright so there that is and then I rotated a copy of this curve F4 and instead of doing the math I just did 360 divided by 8 which probably would be 45 but that's okay um, alright so there that is and we just took both of these curves and I did a pipe and a pipe and then I ended up scaling this in and cutting it to the finger rail so hopefully that was of some use